Hey everybody. What's up? I don't know why I always do that. Like okay. Um what's going on? I haven't posted in a really long time and I'm annoyed by it, but I really didn't have time last week. I mainly like make my videos on the weekends and last weekend I was doing makeup for people and then I was busy and then I had homework and I just didn't really have the time. I went prom dress shopping, so I've been all over the place and then yeah, today's Sunday. Yesterday um, I had stuff in the morning and then I got my hair cut, which doesn't really look like it, but I got layers back in my hair and it was more curled yesterday, but they just fell from me like sleeping and stuff. But yeah, I'm getting it dyed in April. I'm gonna go blonder. So yeah. Also, I was wearing a comfy, like my hot pink comfy like the sweatshirt blanket thing in the beginning of this and then I started sweating so I had to change it so you'll see an outfit change um I haven't even talked about what this video is okay this video is my go-to um my go-to glam makeup I've been doing this for school a lot I've just been in the mood to do my makeup for school um I haven't done the lashes to school or like this much glitter but I've definitely like applied glitter and stuff and I don't know I've just been liking the makeup vibe for school lately so so this video I obviously talk more but like when I'm just sitting doing my makeup I can do this in like a half hour for school which for me is pretty good for like a glam kind of look like this but yeah I'm gonna stop talking if you want to see how I did it keep watching go to my instagram to see pictures okay so since i don't go too heavy on my eyes with this look um well i use glitter but um since i forgot how to like talk on camera so that's fun also i have some like pimples going on like on my mouth so that's annoying but Okay, so since I don't go, like, too crazy on my eyes, I start with my face. So, I start with a Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Um, and I'm just going to take two pumps in my hand and apply this to my face. Take my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and apply this to the center of my face. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation on the 24 hour one and I'm going to take only one pump on the back of my hand um, for more of an everyday kind of go-to I don't really apply um, all that much so yeah and I just dot it on my face and then I blend it out with my e.l.f. sponge. So as you can see, I'm applying a very thin layer. Because um, I don't want the face to look too heavy. Whatever's left over on my hand, I just take on my sponge. And I bring it down the neck. Bring this comfy see how long it lasts um okay so now that the foundation's on we're gonna take some concealer actually now we're gonna do cream contour first we're gonna take the la girl pro conceal hd high definition concealer in the shade medium bisque and i'm going to put it on the back of my hand Take this BH Cosmetics 128 brush and I'm going to take some of that contour and just place it where I want. 
and I'm gonna blend upward. And I'm doing it kind of like messy right now, blending it also like into the hairline. Um, but then we're gonna blend over it with our sponge. And yeah. So we're just gonna do that on our cheekbones, our forehead. I'm back. I was sweating in that comfy. I could not stay in it any longer. Okay, now that cream contour is done, we're gonna move on to concealer. Um, I'm really extra and I use three. So, I start with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, this is in the shade Light. Um, and I apply this under my eyes mainly for like coverage and all that and then I go in with a brighter concealer mainly just to brighten um so I bring this onto the eyes too um if my eyelashes look a little bit darker today I wore waterproof mascara yesterday and I whenever I wear waterproof I can never get it like fully off um so there's a little bit left on there but that's okay so I'm just blending this out with my sponge. I use my sponge for everything. Um, I haven't posted in a while. I've just been so busy in like school and stuff. But hopefully I can get back into it a little more. So, that's why I just wanted to do this video, like, what I've been doing lately and stuff. So, to kind of catch you up, um, I definitely want to do more of, like, my natural everyday makeup. Um, like, what I wear to school mainly. Like, I've been wearing this look to school a lot, especially this last week. But, um... I definitely want to do like my everyday kind of just like concealer mascara blush like really simple so you guys can see that I also want to do a winged liner tutorial I know I've been saying I want to do that but I just like haven't done it I want to do how to stop cakey foundation I want to maybe start doing favorites videos so I don't know that's just what's going through my brain um but back to this um, I'm gonna take the Catrice liquid camouflage high coverage concealer in the shade porcelain and I'm just gonna take this on the spots that I want to cover a little bit more I'm just gonna lightly blend that out with my sponge especially this one because this one is like right on the contour spot so yep 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 And these big pimples that I have around my mouth, they're like the ones that hurt. Like they're like cystic. I don't even know. They really hurt, but whatever. Okay. Now I'm going to take the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade Fair. And I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of this under my eyes to brighten. And I'm going to take some right here and down the center of my nose um a, like tip that i learned recently that actually makes a lot of sense and i don't know why i never thought of it um these pimples are making me look like i have like lip injections like it's making my lip look bigger okay anyway um the tip was that if you want your forehead to look smaller and you highlight, like, if you highlight all in here, like, I used to apply concealer all up here. And that's just going to make your forehead look bigger or the same size that it already is. And I don't know why I never thought of that. So, to highlight, I'm just highlighting right in between my eyebrows to bring that brightness just 
really to the center. And I don't know why I never thought of doing that, but yeah. So I'm just using this concealer to brighten a little bit. On my nose, I'm going to mainly blend it out down the center, but I'm also just going to bring it around that nose contour to help blend it a tiny bit more. And then I'm just going to blend out this concealer. Okay, now I'm going to do a light layer of powder. Um, I've been really liking a dewy kind of finish. Like, I love this natural kind of glow to the skin. I love that. Mild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. And I'm taking the Morphe E48 brush. And I'm going to take some of that. And I'm going to pack this under the eye. Make sure I don't get any creasing, and I'm going to set the eyelid as well. And then I'm going to set my smile lines the center of the forehead. And then the rest of my face, I'm going to take like the smallest amount of powder ever. Like there's barely any on my brush. I'm just going to lightly dust that over the rest of my face. So I'm not doing a huge layer of powder. And that just, like, I don't know, the makeup wears better in my opinion. Like it's just more natural. And I like the way this looks. Because I feel like I have to set my face with powder. But I also like a dewy finish. So. Sometimes you can't get that. And I'm going to get these weird sun things in the video again. But that's fine. Um, I'm going to take the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade 10 Be My Highlight. And I'm going to take it with this e.l.f. 107 brush. And lightly dust that over my face to bring that dewiness kind of back to my face. I'm using this highlighter as a finishing powder because it is more of a like subtle highlight. It'll just add the prettiest sheen. You can definitely see it in person. Um, but yeah, sometimes you can't really see it. Um, through the video and then I'm gonna take my bare minerals original foundation in the shade fair and I'm just gonna let this kind of like bake on top of the spots I want more coverage or maybe not bake I might just like set it in and then see if I need more coverage to bake with it Yeah, that's fine. Positions Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm going to take this brush. I can find it. This BH Cosmetics 126 brush. And I'm just going to apply this to warm up the face. The applicator and I don't take it with a brush I find I don't have to do this but sometimes the brush leaves a more natural look than when I do um, like when I apply it straight in so I go back and forth between that but today I just want to clean up the line here and I'm kind of scooping it I'm not going straight down I've been liking this shape a little more. I feel like it lifts my face. I went a little bit too high. but It lifts my face a little bit more than when I just go kind of straight down. Um, 
so yeah um i'm gonna move on to my eyes and like eyebrows um let's do eyebrows I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm just going to brush through them. I haven't gotten my eyebrows done in so long. I've kind of just been keeping up with them myself. But I think it's time for me to go in and just get a nice reshape. Uh, but I'm just going to go in with the pencil part now. I'm drawing the line underneath. Drawing the hairs in the front. I'm just going to fill it in. Go over the top a little bit. And on an everyday basis, that's literally how I do it. And then I obviously blend it out. That's literally it. On an everyday basis, that's kind of the most I'll do. I do it really fast. I don't really care. So, you can definitely see a difference, I think. So, Stasia Clear Brow Gel. I could not live without this makeup product. And my brows are looking a little bit strong right now, but once I have like eye stuff on, it won't be that bad. So lately I've been using the Tati Beauty Volume 1 Textured Neutrals Palette a lot. Because um, I just have been loving the glitters and stuff. Even to school I've been wearing them and I've gotten compliments on it and stuff so that's what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna start with this like morphe fluffy brush and i'm gonna take mainly soothe matte but i'm also gonna take a little bit of soothe sequin i've been liking kind of the shimmery -ness of the color also i dropped my palette the other day and a bunch of the shades like fell out and then this metallic one here like fell into the soothe spot so these two are supposed to be switched, but I like, can't get it out, so we're just going to go with it. But anyway, I'm going to blend this shade into the crease. Um, this eye part of the video is like pretty simple. There's nothing really special about it, but it's just what I've been doing lately, so I wanted to show you. And I've been doing it to school. And also, I've been, like, experimenting. Like, I've been, the other day, I used kind of the pinky colors. So, you can just take these, like, steps and kind of tips. And then put in any colors that you wear on every day or whatever you're comfortable with. You know? Um, then I'm going to take... A little bit of, if I can find my brush, M506, and I'm going to take a little bit of Ritual Sequin, it's this one right here, and I'm just going to focus this on the outer part of my eye to bring in the depth. And bring it into the crease a tiny bit. Yeah, that's my it. Mix Aura Glitter and Soothe Glitter. So these two right here. Um, I think I'm going to mainly do the Soothe one. So that's the darker one. And then I'll add the Aura one kind of towards um, the inner part. So I'm just taking it on my finger. I hope you can see this. And 
I just press it on. Like that. Um, to school, I haven't been wearing as much of it. Um, I've been doing more of a light layer, but for more of a glam look, I definitely apply a lot because I love it and it's just so pretty. And it makes applying glitter and wearing glitter so much easier. Like the only annoying part for me is taking it off, like because glitter just gets everywhere, but. Um, if you take it off the right way, then it's fine. Um, and there's like none left on my finger. There's barely any. Like you saw how much was on it originally. Um, so I'm gonna go in with that Aura glitter, which is that lighter one, and just keep that mainly in the front. Can't really tell the difference, but they have different like reflex in them. Like this one is more of an iridescent kind of glitter. It has like more pinkies and blues. And the Soothe one is mainly like that brownie kind of color. Not brownie like the food, but I was more like a brown color. I don't know why I said that, but this is what the eyes are looking like. Um, to school, sometimes I've been wearing like um, liner, but I don't think I want to do liner today so yeah i want to dust away this glitter under here that i got on there um i'm gonna go back in with that soothe matte i'm gonna go in with just soothe sequin actually and i'm just gonna blend that under the eye really quick no really precision or anything just to get a color down there i'm going to take that ritual sequin color and just focus that on the outer part roll my lashes and then Today, for school, I've obviously been wearing just mascara. Maybelline Lash Stiletto Ultimate Length Mascara in the shade Very Black. I've heard it's good, and it's been around for, like, a while, kind of, but I've never tried it, so. This is the brush. It's long and, like, skinny, but it has, like, a lot of bristles on it, which I like, so... Let's just see. I hope you can see. It also might not apply like normal. Like I'm definitely going to try it out a little bit more because I kind of have some leftover mascara on my eyes from yesterday. Yeah, I definitely feel it like clinging to the leftover mascara. I'm going to have to try this again, but... Is, I'm going to take my... Ardell Wispies 700. These are a new pair, so I have to trim them and stuff. So I'm going to go do that. And I'll be back. Okay, so I applied my lashes. And I applied mascara to the bottom. I wiped away the bake. And this is what we are looking at. So, yeah, I love it. Um, I'm going to move on to blush. We're basically almost done. Um, I'm going to take the ColourPop Disney Designer Collection Pressed Powdered Blush in the shade Enchanted Mirror. Um, it's just a pretty soft pink blush. I've been wearing this one a lot lately. Um, I'm taking the SL Miss Glam Madison Miller M03 Tapered Blush Brush, and I'm just going to blend that across my cheek, Dandelion Twinkle, and the Morphe M501 Brush, 
and I'm going to run that on my cheekbone. And my chin, my cupid's bow, and the sides of my forehead. And then for my nose, I'm going to take the Benefit Cookie Highlight. And my little tiny brush that I can't find. There it is. The Morphe by Jaclyn Hill JH42. And I'm gonna put that right on the tip of my nose. And the bridge of my nose. Gonna apply it to my inner corner. I just realized my music is like blasting. My brow bone. And then since we have such a glittery look going on, I'm going to take the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. Um, it's an ultra glitter in the shade Lady Bird. I haven't been applying this as much lately. Fun fact, I used to apply it like every single day of my life and slather my face in it, but um, I haven't been using it as much. I've just been using the cookie highlight, but today we have a really glittery situation, like the whole lid is glitter, so I wanted to apply some of that to kind of tie it all together. I'm going to blend out the highlight with my sponge. I'm going to lightly blend out the tip because I like that little thing right there. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. But this is like the chocolate collection, so they all smell like chocolate. This is in the shade 844 Sweet Tooth. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to try first and then we'll see if I need something darker or whatever. I love the applicator because it's like it has a little hole in there. So it like, holds a lot of product, but also has a nice little tip so you can line your lips as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to apply this. Yeah, this is like light. All right. Oh my God, it smells so good. Darker. This is just too nude for me. So I think what I'm going to do is something darker to the edges um let's see what i got let's try the elf liquid matte lipstick in the shade praline let's try it this has the same kind of applicator um it's a little bit older though i probably should get rid of it and get a new one it's a little bit messy but And with that L'Oreal one and just blend the edges. Revlon Super Lustrous um, the Glib Gloss. Yeah, Revlon Super Lustrous the Gloss. This is in the shade Super Natural. I used to own one of these. I think it was in Snow Pink. But... They redid the packaging on it. Like, the applicator is so much bigger now, and I love it. Like, I don't know if they changed the formula, and they changed the packaging or whatever, but I love it so much more. I mean, I had it in a different color, but, um, I love the formula. I'm going to keep trying. Actually, I know I like this, but whatever. Okay. I think all we need is setting spray and then we're done so take my morphe continuous setting mist you know what the drill that's my look that's what i've been doing lately 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, you know? Um, I know this isn't, like, for everybody, and not everybody would wear this, but, like, I would wear this to school. Minus, I mean, maybe I would wear the lashes, but, like, that's, like, a little far for school, at least for me, but, like... I'm also a weirdo, so I would probably do it. But, yeah, I just can't stop looking at it. It's so pretty. Enjoy your Sunday. I don't know if I'm going to post this today, but it's Sunday, so yay. Um, I don't want to go to school. I have homework. I forgot about that. Okay, I should probably go do that. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs> Yo, I'm so weird. Okay, bye.